Hello, industry leaders, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. I'm your host, Chris Lukey, account manager here in the Bay Area for Rockwell Automation. This is the show where we talk about the latest in manufacturing and automation news, as well as Rockwell Automation product updates. This week, I am joined by my components area manager, Steve Parkhill. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. Welcome to the show. This week, we're going to be ta- covering a topic related to our industrial components. Occasionally, when we're having conversations with our customers, we'll get feedback that, all right, you guys have this big portfolio of industrial components, but what makes you different from all your competitors that are essentially doing the same thing? Well, Steve's going to talk about this today in terms of panel optimization. Take it away, Steve. That's right. So when it comes to panel optimization, there's really three elements where I think we can help you directly. First, so we can help you with build time. Second, panel size. And third, functionality. All right, so there were three right there. Build time, panel size, functionality. Steve, can you give us a little detail on, uh, let's start with build time. Sure. When it comes to build time, there's a couple areas where we can help you. First would be from a product perspective. Here's a perfect example of that. This is what we call our interface module, which can help save you the time it takes to do the discrete wiring from the controller swing arm out to the field terminations. Another example of how we can help you with build time would be through value add services, such as putting together sub-assemblies like this or doing panel modification. Excellent. Well, how about panel size? How are we going to help our customers literally shrink the size of their panel with our components? Well, Chris, there's all kinds of ways that we can help shrink down the overall size of a panel. We've got a couple examples here today. By switching to a three-phase power supply, you can effectively eliminate an upstream transformer. Or, if you take a look at this DIN rail, here's 20 single-level terminal blocks, which we could effectively cut in half by going to a double-level terminal block. So we've got time, we've got size. Lastly, what are we doing to increase the functionality of the panels? Well, my main goal is to help folks like yourselves build smart machines. One of the ways we can actually help you do that is by the, through the introduction of smart devices. Here's an example of such a device. This is our E300 smart overload relay. What you can do with this is effectively predict motor failure such that you prevent downtime altogether. In addition to that, if you have machines that go into harsh environments, food and beverage type environments where there's wash down or harsh chemicals, you can use a product like this. This is our IP69 rated piezo push button. And while it might seem like a hefty promise to say that we can help you reduce your cost by reducing size, by reducing the time, Steve, what are some ways that our customers can get started today to take action on this? Well, the easiest way for you to get started today is to go out and download our product selection toolkit on the link below. And these are a suite of software tools that will help you streamline engineering, simplify documentation, and ease product selection. Excellent. I want to highlight one specific word that he mentioned in there that you don't always hear associated with Rockwell software or hardware, and that is free. This is free to anyone with an internet connection. So please check the links below to go download it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Our contact information is also provided below. We're happy to talk about any of these topics with you in more detail. And with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us this week on Manufacturing Happy Hour. And in the meantime, stay innovative, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you in a couple weeks.